all of you are safe and maintaining good health in these tough and challenging times. Today I'm going to talk about the impact of the pandemic on primary steel makers and how are they placed now in comparison with the previous downturn of fiscal 2016. Sales volume for the primary steel makers are likely to fall by 8-10% to this fiscal as domestic demand evaporated in the first quarter following the pandemic induced lockdowns. While uh, the lower raw material costs such as coking coal and increased export sales will provide some cushion, we expect operating margins to slide another 200 bits to around 15% this fiscal. That said, producers may still be better off than the previous downturn of fiscal 2016 when operating margins had hit a decadal low of 9%. This time around, domestic steel makers get support from the anti-dumping duty which sets a flow price for the steel imports. Consequently, domestic prices this fiscal would be more than 25% higher and aggregate operating profits nearly twice that in fiscal 2016. Additionally, steel makers are likely to defer nearly half of their planned capex this fiscal and conserve cash to fortify their financials. Thereby, we expect gross debt for primary steel makers to remain stable and the decline in interest cover to be restricted to 1.7 times this fiscal with, uh, as compared to around 1 times in fiscal 2016. A bounce back in the steel demand in the next fiscal on the back of recovery on housing, infrastructure and automobile sales may see improvement in industry's profits and interest cover improving back to 2.3 times. Overall sector is in a better footing with most large stress capacities resolved and consolidating with stronger peers. However, the pace of demand recovery and the impact on steel prices would be the key monitorables in the road ahead. And on that note, I would like to thank you for your time and attention. Take care and goodbye.